Her name is legendary, her music is timeless, her smooth lyrics and cool vocals will certainly have you wanting more. Please welcome the First Lady of Soul, Layla Hathaway. Oh, thank you. First Daughter of Soul. First Daughter of Soul. Because is Mary J. Blige the First Lady of Soul or somebody? She, hip hop. Somebody. Yeah. You know, and, and of course the Queen of Soul. We Absolutely. all have to pay homage Absolutely. to the Queen, Aretha Absolutely. Franklin, Absolutely. but you have done your own earning and building a name for yourself. A lot of folks know you as Donnie Hathaway's daughter, right. but you're very quick to tell them, in addition to being your father's daughter, you're more than that. Well, you know, actually, I don't mind uh, being my, called my father's daughter. Fine. That's why I made up the first daughter of soul. Um, I'm always associated with my parents, and I don't have a problem with that at all. But when I say more than that, most folks don't know that you were trained professionally, a Berkeley mm -hmm. graduate, classically yeah. trained. Uh, my parents were both educated musicians and really encouraged me to educate myself about my craft, so absolutely. Definitely. You're here in Memphis getting ready for a performance tonight, and it's interesting to see you be among a long list of artists who try to make certain you give back. You were working with the students at the Music Academy here. Tell absolutely. me about that. Well, I went and visited Stax Academy yesterday and met with the kids, and uh, it was so heartwarming to see all these young people so full of passion for music and about art. Um, a lot of kids don't have the opportunity to experience music and art really fully anymore. It's not a part of the school systems, and we know that it makes kids smarter. We know that it makes their comprehensive reading scores better, their math scores better. It improves their cognitive learning skills, and so I was so happy to see all these bright, wonderful kids um, so passionate about music and tonight they're able to come to the show for free so I'm really excited we're gonna meet them at soundcheck today they're gonna come and, and observe the soundcheck as well definitely a great opportunity for them to really see what it's like to have longevity in this right. business when you think about a lot of other other artists who are out there you've got American Idol and different uh, facets of the music industry where music has kind of changed everybody's able to get their music out a little bit more how do you feel about that? Is it Has it been for the better? Do you miss the whole responsibility of the album? Some of the music that's out there, you know, is explicit. A lot of parents have something to say about it. What's your opinion on that? Well, you know, I think there's room for everything. I wish that um, the playing field was actually a little more level. Uh, the internet has made it, and technology has made it an easier place for people to really get media to people. But it's also made it a harder place because now there's so many places so it has stretched it out and shrunken it, if that makes any sense. Um, in terms of soul music, um, I really believe there's hope. I really uh, watched those kids yesterday performing classic hits and with choreography and, and giving it 110%. And so I know that there's hope out there. The last the two questions, speaking of classic groups, talk about Joe Sample and what that project did for your career. Well, Joe Sample uh, is a very dear friend of mine. Um, one of the first tours I ever went on was with Joe Sample in 1993 or four. Um, great storyteller, great songwriter, classic songs. Um, really funny guy too, chef. A lot of people don't really get that from Joe, but he's, he's very funny. And that record really kind of um, established me in a way which is my alter ego, which is as this jazz singer. Even though it's not really a jazz record, we would call that a traditional pop record in the way that Tony Bennett might make a record. Um, but I, I hope we get to do another one that takes me further into that field. I really like to do a lot of different types of things, and so that record really sort of put that out there for people. Well, I think it's an early Christmas gift as we wrap up things here. We're sitting in front of the fireplace in Memphis. You've got folks who are going to see you tonight at Minglewood. What can they expect? Well, they can expect some of the Joe samples, some of the old stuff, some of the new stuff. I had a new record come out just a few weeks ago called Where It All Begins. Okay. It's in stores and on iTunes and Best Buy and everything. And so uh, we're playing a fair bit of the new material. And tonight I have to have my extra A game on because the kids are coming. So I want them to leave just wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. And, and in awe because that's Absolutely. how you leave me. Thank Absolutely. you, Layla Hathaway, so much. Much like fine wine. You simply get better with time. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much for joining us. I appreciate us. it. Absolutely.